Back again, it's Gary Glitter, and well, do you remember this? Everybody. Well, I've been away for two years, and of course, that was my first number one hit record. Now, tonight, I thought I'd play um, as many sort of number one records as I could think of that I really liked over the last uh, 60 years, uh, or could be 40 years, uh, it could even be 30 years. Anyway, um, it's never been a secret, in fact, that uh, from my fans and my friends know that Elvis Presley was for me my first influence and so I think it's only appropriate that I should play one of his records now this uh, song wasn't always famous by him but I think he sings it great as a great entertainer so it's Elvis Presley singing Polk Salad Annie Some y'all never dance out too much. Some y'all never dance out too much. I'm gonna tell you a little story so that you'll understand what I'm talking about. Down there we have a plant that grows out in the woods in the fields, and it looks something like a turnip green. Everybody calls it poke salad. Now that's poke salad. You used to know a girl lived down there, and she'd go out in the evenings and pick a mess of it, carry it home and cook it for supper, because that's about all they had to eat. But they did all right. Down in Louisiana, where the alligators grow so mean, lived a girl that I swear to the world, made the alligators look tame. Old Saturday night. Everybody said it was a shame Although the mama was a working on the chain gang A mean, vicious woman Every day before summertime She'd go down and buy her a truck patch And pick her a mess of folk salad home and a toast on Saturday we got you granny ooh, ooh, ooh. the funny said it was a shame because the mama wasn't working on the same day. a 
wretched, spiteful, great razor toting woman. Lord have mercy. We suck a little bit Suck a little quick salad to me. You know what needs to be a mess. Suck a little. Yes, Elvis Presley. Well, I mean, what can you say? He's the undisputed king of rock and roll, and. When I was a kid, I mean, rock and roll was was everything. I mean, I, I came in it on the first the first time round, in fact. And uh, I mean, with Elvis, we had um, you know I used to s stand around with a tennis racket and the bit of string round, and my lip was curled, and I think everybody else did, including people like Cliff Richard and Marty Wilde, Vince Eager, all these type of people. We're going to play a lot of rock and roll and lots of nice songs, um, but here's two rock and roll songs together both of which are on my first album, strangely enough, but this is the versions I particularly like. Um, this one comes from Dion, and it's called The Wanderer. I'm never in one place I roam from time 
Nostalgia of it all. I mean, I think it's absolutely wonderful that I could come in and hear that record because um, because the BBC, of course, have got a fantastic library of records, and I haven't got that one. And I remember that particularly because um, I was about 11 years of age, and that was the sort of record that when you get your first bird that you fancy and she, you know, turns you down, you know, you can go back and put that record on. I'm just a lonely boy. Um, so it was great to hear that. Now. Uh, this record that I'm going to play now is called Telephone Man, and I think it captures the same sort of humour of rock and roll, which I think rock and roll's got a lot of humour, as, you, as you'll see as I'm playing some of the records through. This one is called Telephone Man, and it's by Mary Wilson. See if you believe me. I went to my apartment on a Monday at one to sing and do la 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 shaky bum shaky bum. Started moving in it on a Tuesday at two to sing and do la 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 shaky do shaky do. Wednesday at three, I called the phone company singing, hey baby, put a phone in for me. Thursday at four, he came and knocking at my door singing, hey baby, I'm your telephone man. I can put it in the bedroom, I can put it in the hall, I can put it in the bathroom, I can hang it on the wall. You can have it with the buzz, you can have it with the ring, and if you really want it, you can have a tingling, because, hey, baby, I'm your telephone man. Can you believe that? And he said, no, one of the fellas call you, tell them how it all began. Well, can you? My heart began to thump again. I think that's uh, one of the naughtiest records I think that's come out in the last few years. And I love that. I absolutely love that record. Now, going back to the rock and roll again, there was, you know, there was two kinds of rock and roll to me. There was the really up-tempo Chuck Berry, which we're going to play later on, and uh, more Elvis. But this uh, uh, was a singer that had, I think, two hits. But this was one of them. And he, unfortunately, got killed in a 
in the, the plane crash with Buddy Holly and so on. But I, I love this song because it set up a whole new kind of thing. And I also do this in my act anyway at times. And it's called Donna by Richie Valens. <laughs> Donna, yes, I love that. I love that. I love the echo and the, the sort of uh, the sweet sound that it had on that. And uh, oh, I was just dreaming. I was just drifting off there for a moment. But I'm just looking down on my piece of paper. I've got everything written on what I want to play and so on for you. And there's not much I can say about this except this is for me the best record of 1980. Oh, 
Pink Floyd, the big hit this last Christmas, fantastic record. I could, I could hear that over and over and over and over again, as indeed I could hear this next artist that I'm going to play, because, well, what's rock and roll without Chuck Berry? I mean, nothing, is it? They really rock it in Boston and Pittsburgh, PA, deep in the heart of Texas and round the Triple Bay. Them one by one, become so excited. I watch her look at her run. Oh, oh mommy, mommy, please me, I go. It's such a sight to see somebody feel the show. Oh, daddy, daddy, I beg of you, whisper to mommy, it's all right with you. Cause they'll be rockin' on bandstandin' in Philadelphia, PA Deep in the heart of Texas, around the Frisco Bay All over St. Louis, way down in New Orleans All the cats wanna dance with sweet little Sydney The grown up blue, tight dresses and lipstick. She's sporting high heel shoes. Oh, but tomorrow morning, she'll have to change her train and be sweet 16 and back in class again. But they'll be rocking in Boston, a Pittsburgh PA, deep in the heart of Texas, and rock a Frisco Bay. If I listen long enough to you, I find a way to believe that it's all true. Knowing that you lied, straight faced while I cried. Still, I look to find a reason to believe. Someone like you makes it hard to live without somebody else. Someone like you makes it easy to give. Never think about myself. If I gave you time to change my mind. 
Someone like you makes it hard to live without somebody else. Someone like you makes it easy to give. Never think about myself. Someone like you makes it hard to live without somebody else. Someone like you. Sunday afternoon with a Tim Harding song. Rod Stewart, who's a great stylist in, in singing other people's songs. It's amazing how he, he always sort of finds the odd little song and makes it very much his own. And I'm, I'm very fond of Rod's voice anyway, so um, I can hear him sing so many things. I think Atlantic Crossing was another great... I mean, I had such a choice of things to do of Rod's. And, of course... He's a great mate of mine, you know, we spend a lot of time in many watering holes together. But enough of that, get on to another great mate, because this is the wonderful thing about the position I'm in, is the fact that a lot of the singers, a lot of the uh, records and the people who record are good friends of mine. And I suppose the greatest, one of the greatest single influences on music today is definitely David Bowie. <laughs> It's a god-awful small affair To the girl with the mousy hair But her mummy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friend is nowhere to be seen Now she walks through her sunken dream To the seats with the clearest view and she's hooked to the silver screen But the film is a sad and bore But she's lived it ten times or more She could spit in the eyes of fools And they ask her to go the song to sing
David Bowie. Well, I mean, there's not a lot you can say about that, except that it's uh, fantastic. Isn't that a great record? How's it going so far? I'm really enjoying myself. I think we should uh, bring it up a little bit now and, and uh, get into the rock and roll again. Um, David Edmonds, or Dave Edmonds, he's Chuck Berry, he's all those sort of things of today. He's doing things, lovely new things in rock and roll. And well, what do you think of this one, anyway? <laughs> Yes, yes, I've been bopping a little bit. I think Ted Beston, our producer um, today, who's, who's looking after me wonderfully well, I'm getting lots of coffee and things like that. Um, he's um, he's uh, helping me out to do this because I'm really excited about this. I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I wonder if he'll put in a good word for me at the uh, Beeb, you know, so I can get my own show every now and again because I quite like this. Um, Dave Edmonds, that was good, wasn't it? There's lots of there are lots of uh, songs by him that are great um, and of course there's lots of songs by the next um, artist also great and I, I had a lot of trouble thinking about it because I've come into the section when I'm, I'm thinking of, of artists as much as records because you know there's so many of them um, that, that they write and, and so on anyway do you get the gist of my banter yeah <laughs> this one anyway I picked um, by the Bee Gees called Tragedy <laughs>
I wonder what he does if he gets a sore throat. Oh dear, I mean, how they do that, I don't never know. I think I need the operation to find out. But anyway, there's, there's no record collection complete without the Beatles. We got this in pocket. We got that, I'm gonna use it. Intention. <laughs> 